and we'll go down and choose chess key. This way, once you click on OK, it'll give you, uh, if it's in your inventory, you do this, else you'll do this. So, if it's in your inventory, we're going to go in and do change items, and we're going to give the character an elixir. Increase constant 1. And then we're going to have it just take out the key out of your inventory since you're not going to need it again. So we'll do change items again. This time we're going to go down to chest key, decrease 1. That way it'll get rid of the key that's in your inventory. Click OK. On your else, we're just going to put in you need a key to open the chest. Click OK. Now even though, even if you get this elixir and you go back to her or this chest, you'll keep getting one of these things and you'll keep on, on getting a thing that says please hurry whenever you talk to her. So what we're going to need to do here is new event on this we're going to set a global switch which is anywhere in your game on any map if you set this switch to any event it'll do that event while that switch is on so here you would put in a name I've already put in a name for it got elixir so put that in click OK got that and just for this we'll just put the chest is empty and we're going to go back to the first page here and put in show text you got the elixir that way it'll tell you that you've got an elixir so click on apply oh before I do this I keep I almost forgot on each event page you're going to have to choose your graphic again so down here we're going to go to the chest 03 and this one we're just going to put on an open chest so you know that it's already been opened and then click OK and then on the girl we're going to go back to event page 2 and find her picture again make sure it's facing the same direction here and click OK and then we're going to do a new event page and we're going to set it on the same got elixir event because it's a global event so whenever you open the chest it'll trigger this event page on her and we're going to go and choose her graphic click OK under list event commands we're going to put thank you so much my brother will be so Sorry. Thank you so much. My brother will live. Click OK. Anyway, so by what this shows is that whenever you open up the chest, you got an elixir. So click apply, click OK, run the program. Click new game. Talk. If you go down here, whenever you don't have a key, click on it. You need a key to open this chest. So, go up to her. I have left an item in a chest to the south, and I need it to cure my brother. Will you please get it for me? Yes or no? I'll choose yes. Thank you so much. Here's the key to open the chest. Please hurry. Please hurry. So you go down here got the elixir. You need a key to open this chest. You need a key to open this chest. I just know something I forgot to do. Under here, after you get the key, you need to do a control switches and choose the switch you need an operation on. Click OK. Now it'll switch to the page that you need to do and also on this one we're going to choose move animation off that way on, whenever you open the chest it won't, 
or whenever you click on it, it says you need a key to open this chest, it won't open. So click on OK. Start. Save. New game. Need a key to open this chest, and it's still opening. So I need. I'd have to f figure out why it's doing that. Anyway, go up here, talk to her. She says that that she needs the uh, item. Choose yes. Thank you so much. Here's the key to open the chest. Please hurry. Go down here. You got the elixir. If you notice, the chest stays open now. Chest is empty. Chest is empty. So go back to her. Thank you so much. My brother will live. And that's the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, just please e email me or if you have a request on what type of tutorial you would like to see, just feel free to email me or contact me in any way you can think of. Hope you enjoyed it and I will make another one soon.